going to be a masterpiece. <laughs> I'm a painter, but I kind of started making ceramics like about 25 years ago. And the, the intriguing part was when I make them, I built them myself. And most of the time, I don't have a clear goal. In the kiln itself, also they change. Because I don't see the end result, there is something exciting when they are done and sometimes I fire them two, three times and uh, it's a bit of a, of a rolling of a dice. There's something unknown about it. What I couldn't really figure out with painting, when I made a painting or make a painting, the decision that I make is right there. Here the decision is moved further away. Like I don't compose them necessarily. So there's something accidental that happens. So this is how it starts, this is thrown, this is on the wheel, so this is, it gives it stability on the bottom, you know, I could also build it up from the bottom up, but this has more strength, this wheel. So when I build them up, they become, they have some sort of a personality with this. I have a pretty good hand, I mean, you know, like what I don't like, like it's nearly too perfect sometimes and I really hate that. So I paint over everything that I think is good or I put paint colors on that I think are impossible and they turn out actually really good. Even with the ceramics, I, the ones in my kiln now, I had them fired and they looked perfect, but perfectly horrible, I think. So I messed them all up and I begged that they would turn out good. You know, I painted like a black on top of an orange and, and then it, because it's already painted one or glazed once, it rejects the other glazes that come on top. And that is kind of also a thing to play with, but it's never a formula. You cannot, I cannot work with a formula. With the, with the ceramics, I jump from subject matter to subject matter. Like even when I made it, I do not know what I'm going to put on it, whether it's going to be like, some erotic thing or like some Goya-esque horror story or these kind of dark, these skulls. Like even the darkness has sort of humor in it, you know, uh, and I feel I can do whatever I want. You know? And it's kind of going through a music thing, you know, you, you do whatever you like at that moment and it always turns out good. <laughs> 